What's going on? For those of you guys who don't know, my name is Josh and welcome back to another episode of Fish and Fowl Florida. And as you guys can tell by the video title, in today's episode we're going to be focusing on the opportunities given to the South Florida fishermen during summertime when it comes to the snook spawn and how great the fishing can really be. And in this video, you're going to be seeing multiple days of footage fishing beaches, inlets, and spillways and it's really action packed. You're not gonna see much cast to catch action just because it's nighttime. So I really wanted to preserve what you were able to see and what you can't see. So with that being said, if you guys like this video and you like the way that I structured it, please drop a comment down below. Let me know if you like it and what you guys wanna see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But other than that, we'll get right into the action. You. Oh God, I'm feeling all sorts of sh rubbing right now. I need to loosen up. I got 80 pounds, he's got Oh, Much bigger fish than you thought, dude. Yeah. Careful, a lot of rocks over there. Oh my god, It's right. a stud. It's right here. Put your headlamp on. There you go. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful fish, dude. Choke it. On the legacy lures, guys. Let's see if we can do a little bass action. Oh, shit. Got him. He oh. There you go, bro. What a beautiful fish. Got her. Look at this guy. Wow, Dude, Josh, stuff, think dude. she wanted it? I think she wanted the legacy. So, guys, we're out here definition of reading patterns tonight we we're on a slow bite switched up completely changed tactics and here we are producing nice cool. fish second one of the night biggest one so far i'm gonna pop this out if i can jesus it's all the way back up in there it's like pastor gilrakes there you go Beautiful little snook, probably 34, 33 inches. Oh, look at that scar, dude. Something tried to eat her. Awesome you fish. Yeah, holy sh Beautiful. Look at that. It's freaking awesome. Super acrobatic, super healthy. Jumps probably like three, four feet out of the water like a tarpon. Awesome freaking fish, guys. Six inch legacy lures, plum chartreuse. You can find them all in snook snacks for the inlet bite. They do good work. Dope, bro. That was so sick. Something did try to grab her, though. Saw that, right? Yeah. That was an old spider, though. You think? She, yeah, she battle tested, bro. Good job, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> let's get back right, on it. Let's get on it. Bro, what is it? It's a snook, right? I think so. Almost 100% sure. We haven't even seen it yet. Got, if this is a snook, it's gotta be big. Oh yeah, Josh. Sick, sick, oh! <laughs> sick. You did it, dude. You did it. Dude, All right, I'm right behind you, so hand me your rod when you're ready. No way, dude. Look His first jig. jig fish, bro. His first jig fish. Let's go. Come here. I got it, I got it. Get your fish, bro. Get your fish. Yeah. Oh, I just got your planted. Oh, no. <laughs> he did it, guys. Let's go, baby. Boom. Holy God, this Dude, thing is these spunky. These fish are no joke. Oh, oh, oh. Spunky. Guys, that's on the YouTube jig. If you guys are old school <laughs> snook snackers, Josh, you did it, bro. She just popped out. You did Jig's it. out. Hold her out. Let's see that fish. Look at that. Talk about it, dog. No, talk about it. She is, man. She's a beauty. 24 freaking years later. She's a beauty. Congrats, man. First fish on the jig. Let's so go, hyped. Dude. Let's go. Send her home. Jesus. 
They're so spunky out here, bro. <laughs> so crazy. Dude. So sick. You're right. You're right. He did it again, guys. I think this is number five for the night for me. Second on the jig. Oh my god, oh, bro. Dude. You're working over you, bro. He's going up current too. Game. Bro, this is a giant actually. Is it? Yeah. Dogging the hell out dude, of you. Dude, he hit it hard as God dang, dude. Bro, this is a giant. Oh my god. I just felt something happen. Oh my god, bro. Holy sh it's a giant. This might be a grouper. No. No? No. Dude. Holy crap. Dude. Oh my god, dude. This ain't no joke right now. The other ones were fun and games, but this one is... This is this is insane. Yeah, this one was a thump from the gods, fellas. This must be the jig thump that everybody was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what they were getting at. <laughs> Alright, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, I can't see this fish, dude. Alright, we gotta find a better place to land her. This is not the spot. It's not even that big. Not even that big. What the? He's <laughs> fighting like a dog, dude. Be careful. These rocks are slippery, bro. <laughs> Going down there? Yeah. Here. Dude, these inlet fish just fight so it's, it's hard. It's wild. Dude, I thought you were about to pull up like a 46. I really did. I thought I was at least about to pull up a 40. But way. Let me see what you got there, bro. Healthy overslot fish on the freaking jig, baby. Two for two on the jig. Same jig. I think we're done for the night. <laughs> That's freaking awesome, man. Five fish, six fish, seven fish in the night between the two of us. Maybe even eight. I don't know. But it's wide open out here. Absolutely wide open. Jig's gone. Fish is gone. And we are gone. Little guy. All right, back to back cast. I should honestly keep the camera rolling. Hold on. That's a huge fish, bro. Oh, it came off. Bro, that was a hundred pounder. That was a hundred pounder. You still have the papa? It's on. There you go. A little snook fun, man. And hooks out. He's going. I told you. On the DOA shrimp, back to back to back. <laughs> A little bit bigger of one. No. <laughs> the dream team, the real dream team. How you doing? Bro, that, did you hear him hit the water? I got, I was filming. I was filming when you hooked it. You heard? Dude, yeah, I could. 
That was a humongous, humongous tarpon. Okay, I'm gonna be right here. Alright. Let me see what I can do here. So there you go, guys. That's number two or three, I'm not sure. But we got the Snook Snacks Mini HD one ounce with a four inch DOA shrimp and the gold glitter color. Absolutely a blast out here at the inlet. So we're sitting here and it seems like there's all types of forage out here. There's mullet, there's little worms in the water, there's shrimp that I've seen jumping, pilchards. And we're sitting here, three out of four casts with three snook about this size. We're jumping huge tarpon. We're catching little tarpon, we're having a blast. Right here I'm throwing the one ounce mini HD in the chartreuse with the four inch DOA gold glitter. And we're absolutely on a wide open bite out here. Hell yeah. Get that girl unhooked. Send her right back. She gone. You! I don't know, he hit it real close to me. She's kind of giving up now. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice one. I'll grab it, don't worry. It's like a slot. Oh, he's nice. He could be a little, he could be just over. Woo! Yeah. Nice fish. He might get me in the rock. Come on. Get out of there. I feel him rubbing on the rocks. I think he might have got ate by a Goliath. Yeah. Oh my God, really? Yeah. That's a giant Goliath. Vince. Bro, that was like an overslot sized fish. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> bro, that was a giant. That's got to be a giant, bro. That was like a slot size plus snook. <laughs> this is giving me flashbacks. <laughs> Oh, Bro, what? So, Josh was on a little nice snook, about maybe like a 30, 31 incher. And, uh, looks like I got eight by. He's in a rock. Probably a Goliath. Yeah, that's it. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Oh my god. So, I don't know if you guys heard, but, or saw. But I had like a 30 to 32 inch fish on on the shrimp jig. And then I just got absolutely mauled by a giant glide. <laughs> Stay tuned, we got a retie. No. <laughs> oh, it came off. Well. Retied to the, I think this is a three inch pink slug with the Snook Snacks one ounce mini HD head. We're smoking them. <laughs> well, it might have just been spunky. I don't know. These fish are tripping me out on their size. No, he's nice, I think. I don't know. He's right there. It's nice, man. Slugfish. Wait for this Goliath to come up and pound him right here. Do you take that spotlight off? Should I put mine off too? You're good with yours. Alright. Come here, Show me that face. Show me that face. Right. Check that out. Let me turn my lamp off. 
check that out. That's on the Savage Gear Slug, three inch in pink. <laughs> That's probably like a 25, 26 inch snook. Probably like my fourth of the night so far. So awesome, healthy fish, super clean. We'll get this sucker unhooked. Hooked barely by the skin. And back on our way. Freaking awesome, guys. Uh, it's like a slot. No. on the freaking Frankenstein. <laughs> it felt like it, he hit it so hard, bro. No, chartreuse black. Oh, look at the jelly. I see that. Yeah, yeah please. You want to turn around and hold him up like right here? Yep. Yeah. There you go. I got the chartreuse black ounce and a half, flare hawk by Snook Snacks. And this fish is probably like 29, 30 inches. Freaking thump the crap out of this freaking jig, man. I like to call this color the Frankenstein jig. We're gonna get this thing unhooked. And then uh, after we snap a few pictures and then we're gonna get it released. You. Okay, so we just caught this fish on the jig and we're gonna get a good release on her. Biggest fish of the night so far. But I have a feeling we're going to get a giant between the three of us that are fishing, so stay tuned. Here she goes. Okay, so I had a little snook again get eaten by a goliath, but this time we're putting the heat to him. He's right here. He's coming back. My line's right there. Right there where that wheat, where that leaf is. Josh has somehow hooked another goliath grouper he had a snook and the goliath came up and ate it right at our feet this is insane <clears throat> anthony come on bro the goliath ate the snook right at our feet i just want to see him too. yeah i might have to go with him the same goliath no let him come the current yeah but he might whoa you want me to get out of your way? Uh, I think I can go down. I, I don't know what I... You gotta stay close to the edge because you can't even turn and get on any rocks. He's going to the rocks though. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna go on that route. Oh, what the... Hold on, hold on, don't move. Go. He's going to the middle. Stop you, mother. Stop, 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 stop. He knows where to go. Yep, he's got me on it three times already. Stop. 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 My fingers are burning. My thumb is burning. Stop. Stop. Oh, no. Oh. Bro. Come on.
here. situated here Oh, this is a giant. Yeah? Yeah, bro. Oh my gosh, Josh. The freaking Papa P, dude. Okay. All right. Oh my God, I can barely hold this thing. Okay, so for those of you guys who have been following along since I cast, I told you guys to stay tuned for G-Rap baits. Shout out to you, Garrett. We're throwing the Papa Pete. I've lost a few giants. Kevin's lost a few giants. This one's stuck, baby. We're gonna get a few measurements on this thing, but I'll tell you what, this is definitely my PB. Biggest on an artificial, biggest on a glide bait. Biggest ever, I can tell you that right now. This is a stud. There you go. Okay, guys, this is definitely the biggest snook of my life. Breeder, still pre-spawn. We're about to get a good measurement on her. We caught her on the G-Rat Papa Pete 10 inch glide bait. New addition to snook snacks. I'm gonna see if I can get a decent measure on her. And we'll see what we can do. She is uh, just turn like 40 41 or 42 yeah I'll give her 42 oh, just about 20 like 23 loose measurement on the girth so this fish is probably around 25 pounds give or take but just an absolute giant I mean look at the tail on that thing oh, we, she fought really hard so I'm definitely not gonna let her go on the first couple kicks, but give you guys one last look at this beauty of a fish. I mean, freaking Mondo. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely blessing of a fish. This is a freaking giant. Yes. A fish that, oh, don't wanna let her go yet. A fish that we all chase. A fish that we all grind for. She's ready. And uh, man, I'm out of breath, there's not much else to say, but I'm absolutely stoked on this one, man. There she goes. Whew, man. We just started fishing, so stay tuned and hopefully we get to show you guys something a little more, a little more interesting. I don't know if you can get more interesting than that, but See if we can show you guys something else. Stay tuned. Jesus. What's going on with my light? There you go. All right, so we're hooked up again on the Papa Pete. Okay. A little bit close quarters action on this one. Not as big, but definitely still a nice fish. Yeah, definitely still a nice fish. Oh, definitely don't want to see that. You all right? Okay. Okay. Did you grab 
up that rod for me. T-bone steak on that freaking glide bait, dude. Must want the glides right now, dude. Oh wow, that fish could be 42 actually. Not 42, but another 40. Or up there, bro, that, that's a stud. Yeah, I'd say a 40, yeah. Close to it. Well, I'll give you guys a nice look at this one. Check that out. <laughs> Probably 38 to 40. All right. There it is guys, that's number two of the night for me on the big girls, number four on Snook. This is the second one on the Papa Pete by G-Rat. Um, this fish is probably 38 to 40 inches, I'm not going to bother measuring her, but we're going to get this fish unhooked, get some quick pictures and revive and release, that's what we do. Second big fish of the night for me, check that out. Big breeder on the. Let's see if I can pop that out right here. On the G Rat Papa Pete 10 inch, and the. I'm pretty sure this one's the IU Bunker color. Check that out. We're gonna get this fish revived and released. Gonna get her head turned this way. Oh. She almost escaped on me. Stay tuned, we might have another fish for y'all. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it's huge, but definitely nice. I'm gonna grab it. Yeah. I'm gonna bring him over here out of the foam. Alright. Sneaky. Alright. Now we got him out of the foam. Let's see what's up. That's a nice one. Can you hold this for me? Thank you. Where are the hooks at on this thing? Alright, All right, I got her. Alright, there it is. Probably about... 36 maybe 37 I don't know 35 to 37 somewhere in there but absolutely beautiful fish still pre-spawn she's pretty full and uh yeah another one on the g-rat but this one is the first one for me on the eight inch sneaky peat I don't know what colorway that is but I'll have it linked in the description um but yeah we're gonna get this fish uh snap a few photos of this fish and then we're gonna get it revived and released This fish was absolutely going nowhere. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Come on, girl. The hook's in an awkward place. Not the shank. Didn't believe it is. There you go. Okay. We got your pliers back. So. Alright, so one last look at this fish on the 8 inch Sneaky Pete. Beautiful breeder. Probably, like I said, 35 to 37 inches. We're gonna get her revived. Well, looks like she was ready to go. Yeah. There you go. Stay tuned. Dude, this is gonna be a giant. Feels like a gator. What the f 
Dude. Dude. If this is a fish, it's really big. He's going right up into the curve. Okay, turn him. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? Oh my god, it's a big fish. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll grab it, Kim. You sure? Yeah, 100 feet. I'll just have you grab the rod for me. Going this way? Yeah, maybe. You want me over there? No, you're good, buddy. You just you get where you're at. Oh my god, dude. How big is this thing? Dude, it literally took me all the way up into the spillway almost. He's right here. Oh, that's why. What is it? It's a snook, but I have him hooked Snagged. in the hooked in the top. Yeah. He might take off again. It's not a bad fish either. Oh my god. <laughs> what a catch. Oh my god. All right, guys, this is going to be the fourth and final big fish that you guys are going to see in the episode. We're out here absolutely killing it with the G-Rat baits. Unfortunately, this fish swung at it and didn't get it in the mouth, but she definitely went for it. Felt so big because of the way that we hooked her. But yeah, absolutely killing it with the G-Rat baits. This is the Sneaky Pete in the 8-inch JP colorway. My name's Josh. This is Fishing File Florida. We'll see you in the next episode. This is a big one. Jesus. Oh my God. It's a big one. Oh. oh my gosh. Freaking shaking. That's the one we're after. 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 Holy sh. Oh my god, dude. This is a stud. Holy moly, this is a giant. 
oh my god another one on the freaking 10 inch papa pete this one is gonna be another freaking moose holy cow all right so we're out here again and this one is definitely bigger oh than the last one. Oh my god oh my god <laughs> oh my god is all i can say oh my god tied on tied back on the 10 inch papa pete same bunker color this fish is definitely pre-spawn still oh my god let me get this line off of her real quick Oh my god. Check this fish out. I can't. I am absolutely speechless on this one. There's absolutely no words, but freaking believe in the G Rat bait. I mean, big baits equal big fish. You know the saying. I thought the last fish was going to be the last fish of the episode, but this one is definitely going to be the last fish of the episode. This is going to be definitely bigger than the last one that I said was my PB on the uh, Papa Pete. We're gonna get this thing unhooked, snap some pictures, and we're gonna get the revive and release on camera. Absolute stud. I don't know what else to say. Definitely my biggest fish. I mean, this is, this fish right here is absolutely built different. I've caught 44 inch fish before on live bait inlet fishing but this fish right here is full fat heavy thick just the fish that everybody freaking dreams of man and i cannot believe that it's happening right now i'm so stoked froth level is through the freaking roof right now we're gonna get this fish unhooked and we're gonna do this fish a great service and give her the revival that she deserves there it is the g-rat papa pete in the bunker 10 inch glide bait baby you keep throwing this thing i promise you you will get bit and it will be the right bite Such a big fish. Give you guys one last look. I don't want her to go before I give you one last look. Check that out. I can barely even hold her. I don't even know how many pounds this thing is, but it's huge. It's huge. It's huge. Look at that tail. It's freaking unbelievable. Unbelievable. Hey guys, you know, there's only so much that can be exciting when you do something so often, but let me tell you, when you love something and it's absolutely your burning passion in life, it will never get freaking old. That was the biggest fish I've ever caught. I just turned 24 last month and I've been snook fishing for as long as I can remember 
And that's a fish that I'm gonna remember for a lifetime. You guys wanna know what I'm using? I'm using 80 pound leader. I'm using the freaking G Rat Baits Papa Pete. I got my I Rod, my Abu Garcia Revo Toro Beast, and we're getting it done. My name is Josh from Fish and Fowl Florida, and we'll catch you in the next episode.